Straight Ahead is our Tip of the Week segment, and this is where we show you a trick or tip on how to take advantage of your Android device. And now for this episode's Tip of the Week, here's your Tip of the Week. And we close out this episode with a Tip of the Week from John, and John shows you gestures in Nova Launcher. Hi. For today's tip, I'm going to give you a demonstration of gestures in Nova Launcher for those of you that use it or are considering using it. So we'll just get right into it. I'm going to go to Nova Settings. There's a few ways to get there, but the easiest way is to first put your home screen itself in focus. So you can do that by exploring the screen and finding a blank area on your home screen, which I do not have. (laughs) So in order for me, To find it, I'm going to go to the first item on screen, which you can either do using a gesture, or you can just find the first app or widget on your screen and swipe left from there, and that will put the home screen in focus. So I'm going to go to the first item. Home. And once you hear it say home, you're on it, and now you can swipe through the actions. Apps. Settings. And I'm going to go to settings. Nova settings. Nova launcher. And the seventh section of the settings is gestures and inputs define secondary home button action along with swipe tap and pinch gestures on home screen and that's where we're going to go gestures and inputs so the first thing here we have button actions is one button action home button nova search and that's the home button and what this is is what you want the home button behavior to be when you're already on the home screen and more specifically the first of your home screens if you have multiple screens. And this goes whether you're using an on-screen home button, whether you're swiping up from the bottom of the screen with two fingers, or whether you have a talkback gesture assigned to take you home. Either of those three things, if you do that when you're on your first home screen, it will do whatever action you have set here. So I have mine set to Nova Search. And below that we have... Only on main home page. Return to the main home page with the first tap. Execute the action with a second tap. And there you have the behavior I just described. So if you want it to do it from any home screen, then you can change that behavior here. And now below this, we have all the gestures. Gestures. Swipe up. App drawer. Swipe down. Ashley Dyer. So as you see, there's a swipe up and a swipe down. And, of course, using TalkBack, these are going to be swipe up with two fingers or swipe down with two fingers. And below that we have... Swipe left, shorts. Swipe right, subscriptions. Swipe left and swipe right. Same deal here. You're going to need to use two fingers when you have TalkBack enabled. But also, of course, if you have multiple home screens, you'll only be able to swipe right from your first home screen, and you'll only be able to swipe left from your last home screen. And of course, by right or left, I mean right with two fingers or left with two fingers. Next we have... Double tap, none. These next three gestures, starting with double tap here, you can't do with TalkBack. If you want to assign something to them, you can, but you'll have to completely disable TalkBack in order to use them. So that applies to double tap. Double tap plus swipe up, none. Double tap, swipe up. Double tap plus swipe down, none. And double tap, swipe down. And after that we have... Two finger swipe up, assistant. Two finger swipe down, Nova search. We have two finger swipe up and two finger swipe down. Same goes for these. You'll The exception being that you can still do these with TalkBack enabled as long as you do a pass-through gesture first. So if you have a gesture assigned to pass through in TalkBack, you would do that gesture first, and then you could swipe up with two fingers or swipe down with two fingers. So these are semi-doable with TalkBack enabled, or of course you could turn TalkBack off to do these as well. Next we have... Pinch in, document. Pinch out, short text. Pinch in and pinch out. These are sort of like you're zooming in or zooming out on an image, that sort of gesture where you slide your fingers together or slide them apart. And then the next two gestures we have are 
Two-finger rotation, counterclockwise camera. Two-finger rotation, clockwise record video. And what these are is if you've ever used an iPhone, it's similar to the rotor. So you'd put two fingers on the screen and you'd rotate them either counterclockwise or clockwise to perform these last two gestures. Now I'm going to open it up so we can see what we can actually assign to each of these gestures. Nova. Choose action. Navigate up. Button. So there's three tabs. Selected. Nova. There's Nova Actions tab. Apps. There's an Apps tab. Shortcuts. There's a Shortcuts tab. And for the Nova Actions... None. Icon. You can set it to do nothing. App Drawer. Icon. Open the app drawer. Expand notifications. Icon. Bring down the notification shade. Expand quick settings. Icon. Bring down quick settings. Recent apps. Icon. Open your recent app screen. Screen lock. Icon. Lock the screen. Nova search. Icon. Bring up Nova search. Assistant. Icon. Bring up whatever your default assistant is on your device, whether that be Google Assistant, Bixby, the Amazon A word, or anything else. Toggle notification bar icon. You could toggle whether you want the notification bar to show. This is the status bar along the top. Toggle dock icon. And if you want to, you can hide your dock and you can have this action hide it and unhide it. Default page icon. You could have this go to your default home page directly. Jump to page icon. Jump to a specific page. Desktop previews icon. This is the screen where you can select different pages of your desktop to perform actions such as delete or at the bottom of the screen you will have wallpapers, settings, and so on. Nova settings icon. Or you can just have it take you straight into Nova settings. And that's all of the Nova actions you can assign. I mentioned there was three tabs at the top. I'm just going to swipe left with two fingers to go to the next tab, which is apps. Apps. Page two of three. And this is just a list of all the apps you have installed. So if you want to use a gesture to open a specific app, this is how you'd set it. You just choose that app from this list. I'm going to swipe left again with two fingers to go to shortcuts. Shortcuts. Page three of three. And what this is, it's a list of apps that support shortcuts. So for example... Amazon Shopping, 4. Here's a good one. I'll open this. I'll double tap on Amazon. And that's going to expand it so I can see what shortcuts they offer. Cart, Deals, Orders. So, for example, if you want it to go straight to your Amazon Orders, you would set that shortcut. So you can assign a gesture not only to open a specific app, but go directly into a certain portion of that app using shortcuts. Now that I've shown you everything that you can assign to shortcuts, I'm just going to demonstrate. So I'm going to go back to my home page. Nova Launcher. Home. So if I swipe up with two fingers. A, B, N, B. That takes me to my app drawer. I'm going to go back home. Home. If I swipe down with two fingers. Messages. This takes me into my messages app, and it takes me directly into the conversation with my wife. So I did that using a shortcut. You can choose a specific contact you want it to open right into that conversation. And go back. Nova Launcher, home. Now I have another shortcut set up. If I swipe right with two fingers, that's going to not only open YouTube, but take me to subscriptions. Home screen one of two. YouTube, subscriptions, cast, disconnected, button. So that's what that did. Nova Launcher, home. I'm back home. Now, again, to swipe left, I'm going to need to be on my last page, so I'm going to go to the second page. Home screen two of two. And I have a swipe left with two fingers to open YouTube in short. Home screen two this of two. This is Dial Drunk Playing from the story. Cops perspective. YouTube. Video progress. Ah. Nova Launcher. Home. So back home. And a couple more gestures I'm going to show you. I have pinch out, so I'm going to slide my fingers apart. That's going to open Seeing AI specifically in text mode. So I used a shortcut for that. Home screen two of short text. Seeing AI. Open navigation drawer button. Nova. Now I'm back home. And then the opposite gesture to slide two fingers together. I have that set to open Seeing AI in document scanning mode. Home screen two of two. 
document seeing ai open navigation drawer button all right no so i'm gonna go back huh no i'm gonna show you two more gestures the rotation gestures so i have it set if i rotate my fingers to the left so i'm gonna put two fingers on the screen and rotate left that's gonna open the camera home screen two of two camera take picture button photo mo nova launcher home back home again and I have it, if I rotate to the right, it's going to open camera in video mode so I could take a quick video. So again, I used shortcuts for that. Home screen two of two. Camera, take picture, button. Video, mode, rear camera, preview. So there we have it. I'm gonna go back home. Nova launcher, home. Now it's taking, talk back a little bit of time because of my speech rate to read everything that's happening. But trust me, these actions happen very quickly, whether it be opening an app, opening a shortcut, or doing a Nova action. So as you can see, this is a quick way to access specific parts of apps or do specific actions or open specific apps right from your home screen, just using gestures. I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for listening. I've got a say, I do like Nova. It's one of my, my two go-tos. I, I use Hyperion slightly more, but Nova is a, is a good launcher, I think. Yeah, it's my favorite third-party launcher. Um, I use it, I use it especially now that in One UI 6, using a third-party launcher no longer keeps you from like swiping between items in the recents screen. Like it wouldn't self it wouldn't scroll itself when you swiped if you were using a third party launcher before, but since the Android 14 update, that's changed. So I've gone back to using that on my Samsung phone and it's nice. Did you only get two apps before when you swiped? Yeah. What, whatever yeah. was showing on the screen. So I could like, I could go into, I could use a good lock module to like, make more apps show on the screen at once but yeah however many were on the screen it would just get to the end and stop and go to the beginning again instead of like scrolling the page for you because typically i've seen phones that the two xiaomi gives me four which i think is interesting and more than i've had on other ones uh i'd be interested to know if anyone else has found this with third party launchers I sort of thought this was Xiaomi specific, but I went the other day, you know, we were talking on the group about gestures and accessing Google Assistant. I went to go and turn off the three button navigation bar on my Xiaomi phone, but it said to do that, I had to switch to the stock launcher. I was wondering if that was a Xiaomi thing or whether that was something on other phones. I sort of vaguely remember having gesture navigation with a third party launcher before, but I might be wrong. I think that might, be specifically a Xiaomi thing because I haven't had that issue with using navigation buttons depending on whether or not I use a third party launcher but the being able to swipe between all of your open recent items is an issue on um, Pixel devices and even on the Asus phone that I just got so yeah. for whatever reason it's just the only one I've been able to do it on is Samsung is my Samsung phone running um Android 14. On Android 13, it also had that issue. So I don't know what Samsung changed, but something is different. Yeah, I mean, that, that the um, apps thing has been an issue on all the phones I've ever had. Um, usually showing me two apps, as I say, the Xiaomi does give me four. But I, I didn't think that was a thing, really needing to run the default launcher enabled, uh, sorry, the stop launcher enabled to have um, system navigation with gestures. I thought I'd done that on other phones. Uh, so I'm glad I'm not misremembering that. OK, so switching between apps is not related to, or the recent app screen is not uh, something that is related to the launcher. The third party launchers can do it unless you are rooted, as far as I know. So uh, there would there will not be any launcher that is able to fix this problem, because whenever you go to the recent sc screen, you are using the system recent screen. But the screens do look different. So on my Pixel, for instance, if I use the Google Pixel launcher, I can swipe between all the different recent apps with one, you know, just one finger swiping. If I use Hyperion or Nova, I only get two. They are doing some limitations, I think. Google is doing something, I think, I assume. 
Yeah, and then it looks like Samsung have fixed it on um, UI6. Yeah, I don't think it's by design. I think something Dave accidentally unbroke it because I, I don't think anybody not using this. Yeah, because this is only something to apply to a screen reader user, you know. One other thing I wanted to mention as well is that for this demo, I was using the Nova Launcher 8 beta. So right now, the stable version is Nova Launcher setting or Nova Launcher 7. So there were a couple more um, gestures in there that you probably won't see if you're running Nova Launcher 7. That'll either give you something to look forward to or a reason to sign up to the beta.